What's up my beauties? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a, a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, and afternoon, whatever time zone you are in. So, I am super excited about this because it's the hype, it's the hype of this palette that I'm about to show you, and I'm about to give you my final thoughts and my review on it. So, my birthday is next week, and if you want to know what my birthday is, um, comment and I will tell you but I decided to get myself an early birthday present so happy birthday to me <laughs> so here it is I didn't think I was gonna get this I was so stunned so this is the palette called conspiracy for Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star so you know as you know the whole thing crashed on his website to order it and basically my eye watch broke on me. Don't know why, but I decided, okay, I'm going to go to the Morphe store near me and check if it actually had it. So when I went there, I was like, do you guys happen to have that palette? And they were like, oh yeah, we have a few more left. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So I ended up getting it because I, I wasn't going to get it. Then I was never going to get it. So I decided to treat myself to a birthday present and give you guys a review and my thoughts on the palette. So this is what it looks like. It's called Conspiracy. You see the little spiral hypnotic thing. Um, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to open up the box. This is what it looks like. It's black. Um, so my only thing <laughs> is I know they put a lot of heart into making this palette obviously they made it serious on it and you can tell they put a lot of thought into it um i'm just not into pyramid things and stuff like that that's not me but i know why because the conspiracy has a lot to do with that type of thing so that's why they did it but again i the packaging is heavy and i do think that they put a lot of thought into it so and they worked hard to create that palette. And I thought it was interesting in the series that um, they brought you into how to make that palette. Do you know what I mean? Basically showing you each color, how it was made, how the packaging was created, everything. Even his merchandise. Now, I didn't get anything else. I didn't get any of his lipsticks, any of the, <clears throat> excuse me, any of anything else. Because obviously the palette was enough for me to get. I'm not rich, so I'm not able to afford everything else. And besides, a lot of stuff was sold out anyway. But besides the point, <laughs> I couldn't afford anything else to treat myself. So there you go with that. So this I'm going to open this up. And this is what it looks like. Now, the colors are very, very thought out and very creative. Like, I like the fact that you could do everyday looks and also kind of um, out there looks with this palette. Um, I do say that on my final thoughts, so I get more deep into it. So definitely stay tuned for that. So I'm going to go over each color with you. So the first one on the first rose ranch, which is that white color, you have my pills, which is a light pink tone, which is right here. I know it's hard to see the colors, but you have telecon. So I don't want you guys seeing my mirror. <laughs> then you guys have root diet root beer you guys have just a theory you guys have spiraling so you can see my sorry you guys can see my stuff out there then you have what's the other one sorry you have conspiracy which is a really kind of like a neon green to me then you have pigment which i thought it was super cute that was like one of my favorite favorite little logos and very thought thought out then you have um, food videos, which is that yellow tone. You have Trisha, which is a very hot pink, which is cool. I want to use that one too. Then you have Cheesy Dust, which I definitely want to, I want to play with all these colors to be honest, but Cheesy Dust, I'm really into orange tones and brown tones, so that is awesome. And then you have Flaming Hot. Then you have, what's the tea? Then you have Diet Cola. Then you have, not a fact, Sleep Paralysis. You have Lemonade Tea. Then you have my right is here <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go over each roll and swatch for you um hopefully my arm control already i tried filming um earlier and then didn't work out so we're gonna go with ranch first 
Thayer's Ranch, which is a really light, really pretty. And I use that color on my inner high, corner highlight with another highlighter as well, and then the brow bone. And then I'm going to go with my pills, which is a really light pinky tone. This is all the first row, really pretty. And you have Telecon, which is a very light, light brown. I use this um, as my transition color. I know it's hard to see, but I'm trying, you guys. I'm not a very good swatcher, so sorry. We got Diet Root Beer, which is a darker tone brown. I'm kind of swatching the best of my ability. My swatching's bad. There you go. See that darker brown? Okay, then you have, what's the other one? Just a Theory. Sorry, I'm kind of using makeup remover as I go along and try to swatch stuff. That's a really pretty pink. Like, I ain't mad at that. You can see it. It's like a light pink tone. Well, like a sparkly, like, pinky, goldy color. I, I, that's the best way I can describe it. And then you got spiraling, which to me is like a purpley tone. Well, no, it's more of a dark brown. So, more of a darker brown than the diet root bear. So, there you go with that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off with, um... my uh, makeup remover <laughs> and we're gonna go on with the next row which is conspiracy which was that green I was showing you on this second row let me let this dry off first so it's hard to see that pink because of the lighting but there's that it's a really light light pink I'm trying to get to where you can see it better that's making it worse, huh? Hold on. Complications with my camera. Sorry, you guys. All right, so that was um, conspiracy. I'm sorry you guys couldn't really see it. Apologize, my camera. I'm on a Mac Pro camera, so <laughs> I do apologize. And we got pigment, which I think is adorable. That's like one of my favorite little, um, actually, um, one of my favorite little stamps that he put on the palette. That was super cute. Then we got a um, food video, which is like a, it's a really yellow, it's a yellow color, which, look at that. That is amazing. Sorry, I got some of my, in the process, I got some on me too. Okay, so now we're going to go in with Trisha, which that is the hottest pink ever, which I cannot wait to try. Oh, that is amazing. And then you have, I love that color, like I can't wait to try that one. I think so far, I'll tell you my favorite colors in a second, but I'm going to go with Cheeto de Cheese Dust. I absolutely can't wait to try this one as well. That's like an orangey tone. And then you have Flaming Hot, which is a red color. And this is the second row. So Flaming Hot, I'm such a bad swatcher. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better, huh? So let's get it... It's way up on my arm. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Apologize for uh, my horrible swatching, but I'm trying, you guys. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go with the last row. And there's 18 colors, by the way, in this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the other row now. Look at all this red from filming. Okay, so now we're going to go in what's the T, which is that uh, like kind of like a turquoise kind of color. I think it's absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to try that one too. And then we got Diacola. Okay, Diacola is kind of hard to see, but it's more like a silver. I'm gonna actually try it one more time. Okay, because it's just I don't know if it's just because the way I'm swatching or what, but or it could be the lighting. So. Either way, this one is called Just a Fact. That's a pretty color, too. I think the colors on here are very unique, so that's one thing I can say. This is called um, Sleep Paralysis. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Okay, and then you have the last but not least. Well, no, sorry, there's two more. So you have in the Monat T. So that's a green color. I'm going to have to, like... I did horrible swatching. Hold on. That one could have been a better swatch. There you go. Okay. 
that's like a really like a oh god I can't explain like a really forest green to me maybe a little bit um different than that but yeah it's really pretty it's like a and it has some shimmer sure into it. This is called My Ride Is Here, which is just a black. So, it's the look I created with the palette. And don't forget to add me on Facebook. I will link all that below. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. I'll link that all below. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat. I would also link all that below. And I will link all the products that I used with my face in the, in the description below as well. And what is one thing I'm missing? Oh yeah, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a blessed one. And let's just get on with my eyeshadow tutorial and review. First color, I'm going to go with Tanacon. This is going to be my transition color. Okay, so this is the first time I'm going to be using these brushes, and they're the BH Cosmetic brushes. I'm just going to grab a blending brush up real quick. Maybe this one might work. We're going to try this one. These are just the BH Cosmetics. This is the number five, and we're just going to go with in the uh, Dite Root Beer color. And this, there's no scent to this palette, so that's a good thing. And I've noticed with this palette, you don't have to be too harsh on it. I want to kind of do like a wing effect. You can just um, be gentle because it does, so far I'm seeing that this palette is very, very pigmented so far with these two colors. And it's blending very easy so far. get into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light for um, the cut crease. for the crease and then I'll tell you what color I'm gonna go with after that so where is it at there it is <laughs>
dye it with here real quick. Then I can go into my next color on the lid. To the color pig pig mint that's so cute like I think that's just the most adorable stain I've seen keep forgetting I don't want to go too heavy on the uh, on the shadows
now I am done with that. I'm going to clean the bra bone and I am going to go in with a different brush. Um, yeah, we'll just go with this little pointy one. I'm going to go in with the color ranch and I'll show you that in just a second. Just write that white one right there. And I'll just do that. Complete the highlight. I'm going with the Becca highlight champagne pop for my brow bone and for the inner corner highlight. A different color I'm trying to get as many colors as possible to go with this look and then I want to go in with um, the not a fact Completed. I'm just going to go in with that color ranch again. So now that I'm done with the complete eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner and lashes and I'll be right back. So here are my final thoughts on the palette. Now, I could tell they put a lot of hard work into this palette. And the reason why I say that is because I saw the series and I thought it was interesting and to see how the eyeshadow palettes and makeup line is created. Um, and I also think that the pigmentation is really there. It does have a bit of kickback though, so if you're not into kickback, then I would suggest that you go lightly into your palette if you do want to get it, um, because it can cause a little dirtiness in your palette, but luckily it is a black palette, so that shouldn't be a big deal. I doesn't bother me too much, but if it's too, too much kickback, then I have a problem. That's why I have to go lightly on the brush so I won't see so much fallout and kick back on the palette. However, the colors are very pigmented and you could just tell that they put a lot of hard work in it. It blends really well. I had no issues with the blending and I like the fact that you have basically everyday colors you could use on a daily and that bold colors in case you want to just go bold and feel like going colorful then you have that as well. So that is a great, uh, great idea so anyways i think this palette is really good and i have no issues personally with it like i said the only downfall was the kickback other than that i have really no problem with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you guys have a blessed and beautiful one bye